Hello and welcome to Practical Bug Bounty Hunting for Hackers and Pen Testers. In this video, I'm just going to be introducing myself as well as the general overview of the course itself, just to give you a good idea of what to expect from this course going forward. So starting by introducing myself, my name is Scott, I'm a security response analyst, and to talk a little bit about my experience and skills, I have a degree in computer science as well as a certification in computer security and digital forensics. I currently work in the field of computer security, and my main job roles involve taking a look at our products as well as receiving reports from users of our products regarding security vulnerabilities. And what I do is I take in these reports, I process them, I review them, I locate the source of the vulnerabilities, and then I work with our product teams to resolve the vulnerabilities and get fixes out to our customers. So that'd be the general process that I'm looking at. I've worked from both sides of the bug bounty programs. I've worked from the side of actually um, participating in finding the vulnerabilities and reporting them to companies, as well as receiving the reports and then actually having to process those reports as somebody working on the security response team. So from that, I'll be able to give you an insight of how things work from both sides and give you all of the nodes that you need to be able to not only find the vulnerabilities, but also report them in a way that the teams that receive your reports are going to be able to easily work with them and be able to process them, which means that in turn they'll be able to reproduce your findings and you'll be able to get bug bounties more easily. Aside from my typical work in security response, I'm also a course creator and writer. So I create a variety of different courses on computer security, computer programming, and I like to write about these topics as well. I think that it's great to be able to teach people all of these new things and share my knowledge. And hopefully throughout this course, I'll be able to help you build up your foundations in bug bounty hunting and be able to become a real expert in the topic. So understanding that, let's discuss a bit of a synopsis of the course, starting with our course roadmap. So. What we're going to do in this course is we're going to study a variety of different areas of the bug bounty process. So first, I'm going to start by giving you a general introduction to bug bounties. I want to get an understanding of what even are bug bounties, what are the different types that you'll come across, and what sort of legal and ethical considerations should we have when we participate in bug bounty programs. Once we have that, we'll move on to reconnaissance, which teaches us about how to find possible vulnerabilities inside of a target. From there, we'll move into the actual exploitation portion. So we'll start off learning about web application exploitation, which will be about finding common web-based vulnerabilities, such as SQL injections, uh, cross-site scripting, IDOR, command injection, these sorts of vulnerabilities. Once we get comfortable with web application exploitation, we'll move into software exploitation, which will teach us about software vulnerabilities, such as um, buffer overflows or insecure privileges, um, these sorts of ideas. Once we have that, we'll move on to the mobile world and we'll take a look at some Android exploitation tools. So we'll learn how to exploit Android APKs, um, learn about finding vulnerabilities in Android applications and devices. Then finally, we'll learn about reporting. We'll learn how to actually write up a report on a bug bounty, how to figure out CVSS scoring, and how to um, understand CVE identifiers as well. Overall, my goal here is to give you a complete overall picture of bug bounties in general and give you everything that you need to be able to take on pretty much any bug bounty that you'll ever encounter. I want you to be able to be comfortable in all the different types of bug bounties and be able to really take a look at different programs and products and build up your understanding of computer security as a whole. So in order to accomplish this, there are a few prerequisites that you should have coming into this course. I always say a little bit of technical and programming experience is very beneficial. We're going to be going over a fair number of programming concepts. If you know a little bit about coding, it definitely helps a lot. Um, it's not necessarily required, but it helps a lot for sure. Um, you'll need a computer that can handle virtualization. We're going to be working with um, VirtualBox VMs um, just because it gives us an easy way to be able to set up targets and be able to you know, play around with these different things without completely destroying a computer that we own. So this is something that you'll want to have. And then finally, a basic knowledge of Linux is really beneficial. Um, most of the stuff that we're going to be working in is going to be Linux-based. Um, things like Kali Linux, for instance, we'll be working with. And just understanding the basics of Kali and Linux is going to help you a lot throughout this course. 
Finally, for additional information, I just wanted to discuss what sort of the target audience is for this course, just that way you get an idea of who we're really looking um, at for this particular course. So, um, for instance, one area of um, target audience that we have is developers. So any developers that want to learn about computer security or learn about specifically finding vulnerabilities in software, you'll get a lot of value out of this course. This will teach you the general process of looking for vulnerabilities inside of products, as well as how to actually write up those problems and report on them in a way that people can easily understand. The next target audience is beginners or maybe people with a little bit more experience looking to learn the foundations of bug bounty hunting, as well as computer security as a whole. By the end of this course, you're going to walk away with not only enough information to understand bug bounty programs, but also enough information to be able to actually, you know, find these vulnerabilities just in general. So it's going to benefit you in many different ways here. You'll be able to not only find vulnerabilities, but find them in the context of in-market products and be able to report them in um, an appropriate way. So understanding all of that, we will move on into the course and we'll start to learn about all of these different things. Um, I'm excited to have you here participating in this course, and I hope that you enjoy.